<laughs> okay, let's look at example 3.1 from the 6th edition. Uh, we have a tensile test specimen that has a starting gauge length of 50 millimeters and a cross-sectional area of 200 millimeters squared. During the test, the specimen yields under a load of 32,000 newtons, and so specifically this is a 0.2% offset, at a gauge length of 50.2 millimeters. The maximum load of 65,000 newtons is reached at a gauge length of 57.7 millimeters, just before necking begins, and then final fracture occurs at a gauge length of 63.5 millimeters. So we're supposed to calculate five different things here. We're supposed to calculate the yield strength, the modulus of elasticity, the tensile strength, the engineering strain at maximum load, and the percent elongation. So let's start with A, the yield strength. So what is yield strength? So that yield strength is a point where the elastic deformation stops and it starts to become plastic deformation. And how do we calculate that? Well, it's the force that causes it to yield over the area. So in this case, it's the 32,000 newtons over uh, 200 millimeters squared. And so that is exactly 160 newtons per millimeter squared. So you could go through and figure this out, eh, just for giggles, so let's do it once. We're gonna say in, <coughs> Uh, we want to if if we want to put this in newton, in pascals, right, in newtons per meter uh, squared, then we're going to say uh, there's one thousand millimeters in one meter, and then square both of those things. So that's you end up multiplying by ten to the six, but we want our answer in one megapascal, and so we turn so this will give us in pascals. But then we want it in a megapascal, so to be in megapascals, you have to divide by a, a 10 to the 6. So it's the same thing as just not doing that. So it turns out a newton per millimeter squared is 160 megapascals. So that is our yield strength. So that's part A, is 160 megapascals. So then we get to part B, okay, the modulus of elasticity. Well, what is the modulus of elasticity? It's based on the um, <coughs> Hooke's law that's you know, relating stress and strain relationship. So we have S equals the modulus of elasticity times strain. Okay, so I want to solve this for the modulus of elasticity. So E is equal to S over strain. So, and so we know this, we just calculated it, right? At that point, we know it's 160 megapascals. So what is E? Well, E is simply L minus L naught over L naught. So that's, in this case, the 50.2 minus 50 over 50. So that's equal to 0.2 over 50, which is 0 0.004. But an important thing here is this is the 2% offset. So we need to subtract off 0 0.002 to account for that. So the strain that we're going to use here is 0 0.002, and then we're going to put that in here. So we're going to have 100, so E is going to be 160 megapascals over 0 0.002, which works out to be a nice even 80 times 10 to the third megapascals. So our modulus of elasticity is 80 times 10 to the third. Okay, uh, part C. Now we need to calculate the tensile strength. Well, the tensile strength is simply the maximum force over the area. So what is the maximum force? It's 65,000, so 65,000 newtons over the 200 millimeter squared. And that works out to be 325 newtons per millimeter squared, which is a megapascal. So there we go, it is our tensile strength. So that's a max force that can, so that's, you know, right before it starts, it's it's into the plastic deformation, but right before it starts the neck. It does that, and then D, the engineering strain, and that is simply L minus L naught over L naught, but I say engineering strain, it's really the engineering strain at maximum load, and so we know the length 
at maximum load is that, so it's equal to 57.7 minus 50, all that over 50. So that works out to be 0 0.154, you know, a length over length, so there's no units on that one. And lastly, the percent elongation. Well, the percent elongation is simply how long it got, right? So 63.5 minus 50 over 50. So that works out to be, and then times 100 to turn it into a percent. That works out to be 27%. So that, that is a percent elongation. So there you go. Those are the things that we can solve for from this problem.